you're new here, I'm Frankie with Mark Cycling. We provide helpful tips for both the indoor and outdoor cycling community. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about the links that I speak about in this video today, be sure to check out the description box below. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Start by threading the strap through the bottom of the toe cage. It doesn't matter which strap, but make sure the buckle faces down. Fold the strap over and through the two holes on top of the cage. Pull the straps all the way through so the buckle sits near the bottom of the clip. Squeeze open the buckle and thread the strap under the roller through the opening. Repeat for the other side. Fit your shoes into the toe cage and pull on the straps to tighten them to make sure they fit. Please note the buckle should face outward. They should be snug enough for your shoe to stay in. If you think the toe cage is too short, you can adjust the cage by using the Allen key provided to make the toe cage longer. One way to clip into the bike pedals is clipping in the way you would with regular cycling shoes. A second way is to insert the tip of the molded cleat into the cavity of the pedal and simply stepping down on the cage. We recommend turning the resistance to full so the crank doesn't move around when you do this. You can also loosen the tension on the end of the pedal to make it easier to install the toe cage by hand. If you have any questions about loosening or strengthening the tension on the end of your pedal, please take a look at our other YouTube video titled How to Clip In and Out of Your Peloton Bike Pedals. Once you are done and need to remove the toe cage, turn the resistance all the way up just like you did when you put it on. This will ensure the pedals do not move on you. You can loosen the tension on the bottom of the pedal to help you remove the toe cage more easily. Then pull the cage outward and away from the bike toward you. When you hear a loud click, this is how you know your toe cage is unmounted. Once you remove the toe cage, don't forget to tighten the tension on the bottom of the pedal again. This is the same sound you hear when you unclip regular cycling shoes. Liked the video? If you find the video helpful, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Be sure to also hit that subscribe button.